Yeah, I'm living in Vietnam uh, for more than three years already. I love being here and I want to spend here more years and I hope uh, you will be the reason why. Okay. George. I think today you're not the guy who I'm fighting tonight, sorry. Not you. Oh, oh my god. So that happened on Yue Le a really popular dating show in Vietnam. Don't judge, I'm sheltering in place these days. The format of the show is like this. Each episode features a new beautiful single girl. She then will be presented with five very handsome men. She will eliminate them one by one. And at the end of each episode, the last man standing gets to go out with this beautiful girl. This episode is special, it's the finale of the first season and the girl in this episode is actually a celebrity. So she's a singer, an actor, talk show host, MC and all cap stuff. She's basically a A-lister in the local entertainment industry. These are the five men for her. <laughs> So these are the five men for her. The twist is that uh, half of the guys are lying. So each of them is either single, lean, uh, not single, red, or gay, purple. Uh, if the girl ends up with a guy in the red or purple categories, she goes home empty-handed and this does happen. So the entire idea of the show is around uh, observing these really good looking men's appearance, behavior, language, uh, and trying to figure out if uh, they are single or not. And judging the other by their appearance is, is very fun. Uh, it's in our human nature to find that entertaining, so that's why the show is uh, very successful so far. The fifth man is our guy, George. He is uh, a Westerner. This is very rare. He is from Spain. Uh, let's take a look at his introduction video. No one. Ciao, em. Eh, I'm George Martinez. I'm from Taiwan. Today, I'm la to talk to you from Vietnam. One year ago, I started to dedicate myself to my passion, that is singing. I'm singing now in some bands here, as well doing some acting and some modeling jobs. Right now, I want to dedicate more professionally, so I started to work with my friend, one of my best friends here, uh, Win Tai. Singer, and we are developing a new music project that is uh, about mixing Vietnamese and Spanish music. So actually, uh, you can see us in our YouTube channel. That is called Viet Banya. Apart from that, I have another passion that is food and wine. Mona Vietnam rock uh, but I still miss a lot of um, Spanish food. So. Right now here in Vietnam, uh, I usually go with my friends to drink some wine when I have time. Yeah, 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 I, I'm living in Vietnam uh, for more than three years already. I love being here and I want to spend here more years and I hope uh, you will be the reason why. Okay. All 
more or less is some judging. He looks good. He is an engineer or used to be. Uh, he shows off his uh, cooking skills, uh, singing, playing guitar. But to be honest, it's, it's that they are pretty mild uh, in the sense that they are done in very uh, casual settings. Like looking at home, practice singing and guitar at home and not performing like in, in front of people on stage. Uh, so why these things are interesting, they are not at like the high value level. Relatively, what other guys are usually show up is their like successful uh, professional career, uh, their passion or their body. He, he could he could have show up his body. And uh, now with this girl, I think some are like wild worshipping. We could be an advantage for him. But most would find this tall white guy intimidating, I think. So this casual down to earth vibe could uh, balance him out and it might have worked for him so far. But here we are dealing with uh, a celebrity, it might backfire. Next, the panel will discuss it and vote if they think the guy is green, red or purple, and then the audience will also vote. Okay, here we go. Ủa sao dành hết màu tím của em vậy? Trời ơi, trời ơi, trời ơi, trời ơi, trời ơi, cái gì vậy? So most of them think he's gay. Uh, the cooking singing isn't too manly, and he has good attention to details. This is the second round, and they're gonna recharge him. Now the panel thinks our guy is in the red category, which means he's not available. This is because the guy who is uh, eliminated in the first round is purple. So it's less likely there's another one. Chat. I think today you're not the guy who I'm fighting tonight. Sorry. Not you. Oh, oh my god. Em sẽ hối hận vì điều này. And she picked our boy. He's doing a dance performance to review his uh, category. He's in the green category, means available uh, or single. And it seems that everybody is shocked. Oh my god! You destroy a man! Really? He come for you, baby! Oh, oh sorry. she thought that you have a wife. But you, you bring that feeling. Everybody can feel that. Because you're so warm, you're so tender. Why? You're so Why you don't look at me? He doesn't look at you because he's afraid of you. Why? Yeah, I was afraid. Why? I don't know. You look very like powerful. You know? You're right because he's won the Mr. World. <laughs> now after we talking, can you look at me? <laughs> I took the look out, right? He's laughing because he's nervous. Uh, maybe it could be better if he's less like friendly and a bit more assertive or dominating. Look at it hot, broken face. I'm gonna have a, a drink for our boy here. I'm gonna need this to get through. This show too much uh, cringe sometimes. She eliminated him because she thought he's not single. But that's actually not the reason why he failed. Meaning, even if she knew he was single and he managed to get to the last round, she would not have picked him because, because he failed to make her feel attractive to him. Girls are usually attracted to guys who are like good looking, rich, successful, having high status. Uh, manly, confident, smart, clever, funny, etc. And surprisingly from what I see, girls sometimes don't respond well to strong affection. Uh, it's not like a TV show, hey, I love you the most, I'm in love with you, I'm faithful, please love me, please fall in love with me. It, it's not like that in real life. Uh, best case scenario, you went to a, a fan zone. These days, the cute girl has a cloud car full of guys chasing after her. And this girl is an A-list celebrity, let's not forget that. George failed to light up that romantic spark. He could have showed off his professional career, he could have made his interests look cooler, he could have tried to be more confident, and it is easier said than done. He said that he felt intimidated by her. 
mình chợ nó không phải vì mình tìm người độc thân mà mình tìm cái bằng ma lại cho mình cái cảm xúc At the end, she picked someone who she had known that was likely not in green category. This guy's like, hey, I'm, I'm, I'm cooler than the other guy. So his answer mostly not like expressing his uh, love for her, but about like, hey, I'm very ambitious, I'm very self-driving, and he wants to live his life to the fullest. For a girl who has many options and is still exploring, and I guess the same for most of us, we are going to pick someone who we feel attracted to over someone who attracted to us. One thing I forgot to say is that this is really actually a transgender. Barcelona, my World Cup ticket. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Can I ask you something? I'm a little worried about foreigner come to this show. Uh, they don't know about me. So what do you think if in the future, Can you be in a relationship with a transgender woman? How do you think? I think transgender people is like when they want to be a woman, they are already a woman. So I don't think it's a problem. But we can hang out someday, don't worry.